Hello everyone, Alex Rules 237 here, back for another video in the lovely Scrap Mechanic. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is not Scrap Mechanic Survival, this is Scrap Mechanic uh, Creative. However, we are going to be talking about Survival, and this is being a pain in my butt. We are back with Scrap Mechanic. Now, for those of you who have not watched the Scrap Mechanic Coronacation stream, I had my old friend Dartfrog and a newcomer, uh, Cubist32, join me, and we worked on a one hour challenge where we had to create a fuelless vehicle. Now, although I was kind of the only person who took the challenge seriously, um, both their videos have already been released and they are both great. I wasn't planning on making a video um, when Cubist joined, however, uh, I'm gonna. I'm kind of want to talk about the vehicle I created because it's a good vehicle for those of you who want to find a fuelless vehicle for scrap mechanic survival, so you don't have to get fuel. Um, so I'm going to talk about it. I'm gonna. This is a one-hour challenge, so I'm gonna talk about the stuff that I've done after the stream uh, because it wasn't perfect. It still isn't. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, I am part of a scrap mechanic survival uh, server called Gloomcanic. Um, where basically the other two, Dark Frog and Cubis, and a bunch of other people, we just have a multiplayer survival, kind of like my own Mocharv, except it's scrap mechanic. Um, and recently, Dark Frog stole my idea. He created a gas station, so I want to try to use absolutely no gas on that server. Dark Frog deserves none of my money. I will not buy a single can of gas from him. I'm sorry, Dark Frog. I, but whatever. So anyway, um, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about this vehicle that I've created. I have not named yet. However, by the end of this episode... Um, I should guarantee you that this vehicle is good enough for scrap mechanic survival. I will leave a link in the description to the Steam Workshop where you can download this. By then, I'll probably have a name for it. I don't know. But anyway, this is the vehicle I created. Uh, it has no engines, not even an electric engine. Um, it uses controllers. Uh, let me pull out my thing. It uses controllers. Uh, what Basically, each axle has two bearings controlled by a controller and the controller is connected to the driver's seat so it still uses WASD controls it does not you have a converter or it does not have buttons uh, so ease of use is priority here uh, like I said this this was built in an hour so it wasn't the most beautiful thing that I've ever built but it does look pretty decent um, compared to what I, I was not trying to make it look good at all however at the end of the challenge I had 15 minutes left so I try to make it look good uh, these these spud guns you don't need um, but anyway this it's it's it, it drives um, I'm gonna spawn in it again it, it drives that's not it come on where are you there you are um, it goes forward and it goes backward uh, you gotta be a little careful because sometimes the controllers can be a little buggy for instance if you look you can let go of the controller there you go you just saw that um, I did realize in the stream and you might have realized too that it was kinda buggy it was jumping all over the place um, and I have reason to believe that's because of scrap mechanic multiplayer um, but other than that it works almost perfectly fine um, so before before I showcase how it works and how I built it I just want to go back and talk about um, my idea my processing um, for how I made that vehicle so I made the challenge about a week or two before I actually streamed it it was originally supposed to be with Fino but whatever it was with Dark Frog so I wanted to create a fuelless vehicle because since scrap mechanic survival came out you all want to have infinite resources it's it's just it's a no-brainer so to make create a vehicle that uses absolutely no fuel has been something that everyone I've seen on YouTube um, trying to work on so far and my idea is definitely not unique both uh, both ideas that I'm going to showcase controller and piston engines have been around for years ever since scrap mechanic came around so instantly when I came around with this challenge um, I tried to in start with a piston engine so I worked on a variant of different piston engines however this is the one best one I've made so far both suspensions are I'm gonna turn you off so I can turn it on so this is my this is my piston engine it should it's a different speeds than it should be right now it's supposed to be at three speed for each piston however uh, this is an inline five engine um, and the reason why I haven't used it is because first of all there is no reverse second of all the rear wheels have no suspension whatsoever and it's just not the best system it's already stuttering all over the place and it's not it's not even connected to the, the, the drive shaft come on why don't you go in there you go so it can drive you know it's very basic I can't even steer so 
from here, this is kind of a stepping stone. This is something that I whipped together in about an hour. Um, I created this system, which can steer, first of all. Um, but the engine, if I turn it on, it's the same inline five engine. It, go it goes the same speed. However, the difference here, um, this, this looks a little funky. I know the wheels are not, you know, perfect. The problem with uh, a lot of scrap mechanic vehicles is that turning sucks. Everyone can agree that turning sucks. And the reason for this is actually not because scrap mechanic is to blame. In real life, vehicles have what's called a differential. And how the differential works is when you're turning, let's say we're gonna be turning left, this outside wheel is gonna be spinning faster than this inside wheel. Um, and the problem is when you just have it directly connected, both wheels when you're turning, they're going to be spinning at the same exact speed. Where do you think you're going? They're going to be spinning at the same exact speed. So what the differential does is it distributes the power between both axles, but the f it's going to allow the outside wheel to turn faster. Uh, so what I basically created here, I actually, a few months ago, I created a vehicle using Scrap Man's, one of Scrap Man's vehicles. Um, I think Fino actually displayed it too. Thank you, Fino, for that. But uh, it, it basically has a DIY differential. It's not the best thing, but if I turn this on, when, when I turn, what basically happens is you can kind of see there, the uh, gear is going to disengage, so it turns a lot better. The problem with problem with piston engines is that they're expensive. They're not expensive, but they're a pain in the butt to actually make and in survival mode it's not the go-to situation when you first start so I graduated on to a smaller contraption the controller engine as you can see here two controllers this was my pre-stage this is before I realized that you could actually connect uh, driver seats to controllers so I had I just had this real quick but anyway it turns it does the whole caboose um, caboose what um, it, as you can see two controllers two logic gates for two switches it's the same exact size as an engine, a normal engine, so there's a relief there. And how it basically works is there's two bearings, so if you just had one bearing, it'd go kind of slow. Two would work. For the challenge, I wanted to have three, but I just couldn't fit it. There wasn't enough space. But anyway, this is kind of the uh, precursor to what would become, which is a perfect lead-on to the contraption I made. So the difference between the one you just saw and this one, other than the looks, um, is that it uses the controllers just directly connect up to the seat so it's pure WASD controls it doesn't even have a converter um, and also the main point about this vehicle which is a huge huge waste of time but I love it is the suspension the suspension is the hardest part of this whole thing it, I, I started it right at the beginning it took me about 20 minutes this is a double wishbone suspension the front here has a sway bar although the sway bar does not work um, so don't don't get too caught up um, before the stream started well not before the stream maybe about a few days before I was trying to build another vehicle with double wishbone suspension and I couldn't figure it out so I searched up a YouTube video I'll leave a few links on how to make uh, good suspension down in the description as well um, so I basically added double wishbone suspension it's both the same they're independent all four wheels hey guys this is me from the future and I just wanted to point out real quick that this is not four wheel independent suspension because I added the sway bar on the front which by the way it doesn't work but because I added that it is not completely independent it's only the only the rear two wheels are I would have removed this when I put it in the steam workshop however since I wanted to keep it this almost the same exact or as close as it was in the stream I opted not to so if you want it to be completely four wheel independent remove the sway bar but I just want to clarify that it is not four wheel independent suspension and it worked perfectly um, the only thing is in the stream I made the suspension just a teeny bit stiffer than I would like this is because we were gonna race I wanted to use it for competition purposes so I just made it a little bit stiffer however if you download this and you want it to be a little more smooth um, for whatever reason you each suspension you just need to drop down just one notch that's all you need um, but the suspension here uh, is very basic when I when I go over there just just want you to know that every bearing that's blue is part of the suspension so that gives you an idea of how basic this car really is uh, but anyway we move on to a simpler version this is the same exact car by the way all three of these cars are the exact same this one I just took off the front so you can see the suspension this I took all the body work off um, and as you can see it's very basic I th this is the entire car um, that I built in half an hour and then after that half an hour I made it look like that 
Uh, but as you can see, like I said, just two controllers. Uh, the reason why I had two controllers is uh, because you can... Why did I make two? Oh, right, because when I made the two controllers, um, I was intending on using the buttons. However, then I realized you could use WASD. Um, I also use two controllers. What's helpful about this is when you're in survival mode, you don't have to constantly upgrade these controllers. You can if you'd like, but um, you have, just have two controllers, and still it's smaller than a normal gas engine. So you can fit it in almost any vehicle, pre-existing vehicle, new vehicle, anything. Uh, as you can see, it has the two-bearing design on each axle. Again, I would like to have it set to three. That way, go a lot faster however for these re this reason I had it too just to keep it a little little less uh, thick uh, a little less wide rather um, but it's still dominated I kicked both Cubis and Dart Frog in the butt Cubis Cubis vehicle didn't even move but anyway we're not talking about that we're talking about this so this is this is something that minus like the suspension about maybe most of the suspension this is something that anyone can make it's not hard at all um, in fact if you if you want like I don't know, I'm asking you like because it's a video like if you want I can sh just do a quick tutorial on how this works basically you, you have you have the seat here and you have both the seats connected to the controller um, it, it's very simple it's almost it's just a little more work than a gas engine too anyone can do it um, and in reality this is a perfect vehicle for scrap mechanic survival like I said it's not that great on multiplayer I'll show you a few examples here from the stream um, but this this system works perfectly fine. Um, I did not create this system But uh, I have not seen this that often when people try to create gasless uh, Inventions they try to use glitches, which is why I prevented glitches in the stream and the challenge um, And I also see you know piston engines and some of those piston engines are pretty fast I can't make good piston engines because I suck at scrap mechanic but uh, some of the some of these creations are really well. But if you're looking for something simple, something that you could probably build within a few hours in scrap mechanic survival, uh, this is perfect. It, it's re not that resource intensive. Um, again, you 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 could have just a car, a normal car, and you can just get rid of the gas engine, put two controllers in, maybe on each axle, put in another bearing, and there you go. It's the same exact thing. Now it's not perfect but what you got to remember is it's scrap mechanic and um, nothing's perfect you, there's no guarantees in life you just got to accept that and as you just saw before before I leave I also did have the uh, I have all four wheels able to turn I only did this because I whoops I did not mean to do that the lag oh crap I only did this because for competition purposes I wanted to be able to turn really well um, and again it wasn't the turning wasn't part of the competition however every little detail counts um, and like I mentioned over there with my piston engine I did not need a differential because all the wheels get to turn almost independently not perfect nothing's perfect like I said but anyway guys thank you so much for watching I'm sorry my webcam died my camera kinda likes to not work <laughs> um, anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you want more scrap mechanic or scrap mechanic survival because that's been a big thing on YouTube right now um, I will definitely do more just tell me leave me a note put it in the comments section I will do it uh, later today I'm actually going to be recording with Dark Frog and Cubis another challenge however it's not my challenge I promise <laughs> But anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video